Hi, hello, welcome to Sudoku Pro channel. This is a very easy Sudoku puzzle. I enjoyed solving this puzzle. If you are a beginner who is just learning to solve Sudoku, this video is perfect for you. Let's get started. Let's get started with scanning for one across rows and columns. So here there are two ones in this block. So obviously this block takes a one in the top row. There is a one blocking here. So this cell takes one. Now this one blocks here and this one blocks here and we have a one blocking here. So obviously this cell takes a one. Now this one blocks the bottom row and this one blocks the top row. There's a one here blocking. So this central cell takes a one. Now moving up, this one blocks these cells and this one blocks here and there is a one blocking here. These two cells can take one. Uh, so let's mark it with small one which will help us in future to solve the puzzle. Similarly, in this block, the top row is blocking, one is blocking this top row and there is a one here and a one here blocking. So these two cells possibly take one. Let us mark it with small one. Okay, so we have we are done with one. Let's continue to scan for two. Scan for two now. So uh, here you have a two here and a two blocking this bottom row. So obviously these two cells can take a two. There is a two here blocking. So this cell takes a two. Moving down, this two blocks this row. So this, these two cells uh, possibly take two. Let's make a small marking of it. Now this, uh, this two blocks this cell and uh, this two blocks here, this axis goes number and blocks these two cells. And we have a two here blocking the bottom row. So this cell takes a two. Okay, now similarly in this block, we have a two blocking here and this two blocking here and this two blocking here. These two cells are empty and they can possibly take a two. So let's mark with a small two. Let's move on to the next step. So B. So let's take this block here. Three blocks this column. So there is one empty cell which is taking B. So down here this 3 blocks this cell and this 3 blocks these 2 cells. So this cell takes 3. And then in this block, this 3 blocks this row and this 3 blocks this row. So obviously this cell takes 3. So let's cancel down this 2 and mark it with 3. So obviously this is the only cell which can, this is the only cell which can take 2. So let's cancel this down and mark it with 2. So this impacts the 2 here. That means this cell cannot take 2 and the 2 is here. So moving up. We have three blocking this cell and we have a three blocking here the top row and three blocking the bottom row. So obviously this cell is taking three. So this cell obviously is taking one.
and the impact of this one is here so this one can this cell cannot take one and this cell becomes one so moving down here this three blocks these cells this three blocks this cell and there is a three blocking the top row so this cell obviously takes a Three. So we are done with three now. Let's move on. Let's start scanning for four in this block four blocks here so this cell takes a four and there is only one empty cell which obviously takes a seven so we have completed one block now this four blocks here and this empty cell takes four So there are only two empty cells here. The missing numbers are uh, five, six, uh, five and six. Uh, so this becomes a five, six complementary pair. If you have seen my earlier videos, you will know I have discussed clearly about what are complementary pairs. So these two cells takes five, six, five, six complementary pair. Moving, uh, this four blocks here. There is no, there is no much help here. Uh, uh, this four blocks here, and this four blocks here. This empty cell takes four. Now this four blocks here, and this four blocks the bottom row. These two cells can possibly take a four. Let's mark it with small number. Moving up, this four blocks this cell. Okay, we have already have a four here. Fine, this four blocks this row. This four blocks this one, this side, and this four blocks this cell. So these two cells can possibly take a four. Let's mark it. Okay, fine here, this four blocks here and this four blocks this bottom row. This top row can take, uh, these two cells in the top row can take four. So let's mark it. Let's move on to the next step. So let's start scanning for five and six. This six blocks these two cells and this six blocks this bottom row. So obviously this cell takes six. Now this six blocks here and this five blocks this cell. There's an interesting thing here to notice. So these three cells have no chance of having five or six. So that uh, obviously implies that these two cells are the only cells that can take 5 and 6. So here we can mark a 5-6 pair. Similarly, so you can't have a 6 here and this row, this row is blocked for 5-6. And you can see a 5-6 pair here. That means obviously these two cells will have a 5-6 combination. So let's mark this with 5-6 pair. Here you can see a 5. So that means 
here five cancels out and this becomes a six here six cancels out and this becomes a five the impact is here five gets cancelled out so this becomes a six here six gets cancelled out and this becomes a five here you can see a six so that means here six gets cancelled out and this becomes a five and here five gets cancelled out and this cell takes a this cell takes a six now there are only two cells uh, empty here the missing uh, missing numbers are one two three four five six seven and eight so here eight blocks this cell and obviously this takes uh, seven and this becomes eight so we have finished one block here and here the impact we have already marked with two small fours since this cell has taken a six this obviously becoming a four so let's cancel out this four and mark it with big four now let's uh, scan for uh, five now in this block there is a five blocking here and this five blocking here so this cell takes a five so we have this five blocking here and this five blocking here so this cell takes five so uh, moving to this block uh, we have a five blocking here and a five blocking this cell so this cell takes a five So all the cells are marked with five now. Now, if you take uh, this uh, block, there is only one cell empty, which is obviously eight. So let's mark it with eight. Fine. Let's move on to next step. Okay, here we have missed one six. So this there is two six here, which blocks these two columns of this block. So here we have ob obviously a six. And so uh, this six blocks here. There is a six here and a six from down. So this empty cell can take a six. now this 6 impacts this 6 so this gets cancelled out and this becomes a 6 by now there's another impact we have missed out uh, this 4 actually impacts this 4 so this gets cancelled out and we have a 4 here so that leaves only two empty cells in this block and the missing numbers are um 8 and 9 uh, we have a 9 blocking here so this cell takes 8 and this cell takes a 9 similarly there are only two empty cells in this block the missing numbers are um 7 and 8 so this 8 blocks here so this cell takes 7 and this cell takes 8 now uh, this 4 because of this 4 um okay we have this 4 blocking this cell and we have a 4 blocking here so this cell takes a 4 and that leaves with this block with only two empty cells the missing numbers are 7 and 9 so since there is a 7 here this cell takes a 7 
and this cell takes a 9. Now this 4 impacts here, so this 4 gets cancelled out and this becomes a 4. Now let's look for 7. So we have not yet scanned for 7 actually. So uh, this 7 blocks here. Fine, let's it's CC. So let's see this block. Uh, this 7 blocks here and uh, this 7 blocks this column. So this cell takes 7. And so uh, here, seven blocks here and seven blocks here. So this cell takes seven. So that leaves this block with only two empty cells and the missing numbers are eight and nine. So here we have eight blocking. So this cell takes nine. And this cell, this cell takes a... Eight. So we have almost finished the puzzle and these are the only two cells uh, missing. So the missing numbers are again 8 and 9. Uh, so obviously this there is 8 here. So this cell eight takes 8 and this cell takes a 9. So we have solved the puzzle. Thank you for watching. If you know a person who loves solving Sudoku puzzle, please share this video. Thank you.